Welcome to EGAL Talks Football. If you're watching this right now, this is a segment where we're going to be talking about this guy. Who the hell is this guy? Can anybody name this guy? Has anyone met or heard about this guy before today? I know you're probably rolling your eyes at home when you see when you when you read this or seen this. So let's not talk about it for anyone who doesn't know. This guy right here, I don't even know what club he plays for. We're going to get into that. But Gift Orban, top, uh, uh, Orban, whatever his name is. Premier League is... Let me let me get the robot to read it, <laughs> because I think that that should that will do it the most justice. Gift or ban? The Premier League is my ultimate dream. Man United, Liverpool, or Man City? I don't really like Arsenal that much. It's like they don't want to win titles. I want to go somewhere where they win titles. Gift or ban? Told. Okay. First things first. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> like respectfully who is this guy Does, has anyone heard about him honestly did anyone hear about this guy before today i've never i've never heard of him like maybe maybe i'm not educated enough on nigerian footballers and world football he's 20 years old he's a nigerian football player playing in for genk in the belgian league for anyone who wants to know who he is He's apparently he's been linked to Chelsea before. He's been linked to Man United. He's been linked to these clubs. He's even been linked to Arsenal in the past. This article here, or whatever, this tweet from Fabrizio Romano, pissed me off so much that I went into Twitter Spaces yelling and screaming at people. Reason being because I feel like people think he is spitting facts. People actually believe what he's saying is a fact. I think he is. A Man United fan, which has been confirmed, actually, that he is a Man United fan, by the way. Number one, he's a Man United fan. Number two, to include Manchester United in this when saying Arsenal don't want to win titles. Explain to me what title Manchester United have won since Sir Alex Ferguson has left. Because if I'm not mistaken, Manchester United since Sir Alex Ferguson has left have been nothing but a loser like if you want to call arsenal a loser what have they been they've lost their winning mentality ever since sir alex ferguson has left liverpool you can say liverpool if he would have said chelsea i would have even respected it i would have said you know what he's right chelsea have been winning arsenal haven't been winning liverpool have recently won man city have won but to include man united the hypocrisy number one number two i don't like arsenal that much you don't have to like arsenal no one's asking everyone to like the club, right? But to say they 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 don't like, it's like they don't want to win titles. Have we not challenged this year? Is that not a is that not a slap in the face for a team that was second for majority of the season and, and was actually potential that could have won the league? Like I feel like this is so much BS. Like and anyone who's sitting there saying he's spitting facts, he's spitting facts, and and you're an Arsenal fan, check your head. He's, he's blatantly, what is with people who always just want to be like, yo, I want to jump on anything that's negative and agree with it. Like, what are we doing? Souls, talk to me, man. Because I seen this, I freaking flipped out. This guy is, is this guy must be trolling or he must be trying to do whatever he can to, to get relevance. Yeah, that's what I put. I put he's, he's used Arsenal's name to get clout. It's as simple as that. Like, I don't care. I mean, look, it's his opinion. He's entitled to his opinion. If he thinks we haven't, we, we, we can't win a title, come to Manchester United and come head to head with us. Come on. I want him to bring that challenge, bring the smoke. Come on. Come to Manchester United and help them win that league against us. Go on. I dare him to do it. Take on the challenge and move to one of those. Because Man City ain't buying you. I can tell you that for a fact. Big up, Liverpool, big, up. Maybe. big up to the United fan here. He says, you guys got a decent order, unlike us. Before, people were saying Cronkies and Glazers were in the same bracket, but now they agree. Uh, you fellas don't know anything about football. All right. It, why are you watching? You're welcome to, you're welcome to not watch. <laughs> like, I don't need to block him. And it's, it's, I didn't it's, block him. I muted him. Oh. Um, let's, let's, let's go to the next one. Um, Orban, he, this is what he, was actually said. Let's see if this is different, right? It's, it's pretty much the same sentence. Am I wrong? That is the same. There's nothing different there. Okay. And then what else was said? Um, I, I still have a four-year contract, but less than 100% departure. Uh, what, is it, what is this whole thing about? It's just telling him a story about him. 
oh, this is what I needed to read. Uh, worth nothing, what? Worth noting the context of Gift's comments, as per ad Fabrizio Romano, the comment of Arsenal was referenced to his childhood in a humorous manner, etc. Let's see what future holds for the talented gent striker. I still don't get it. What did he benefit from saying this? I, don't, I, I honestly couldn't care less. Plus. <laughs> it does. It does. I don't feel anything. Like you can say what you want. I don't know who the guy is. So, bro, it it really it really pissed me off. I'm not gonna lie. You could probably tell it pissed me off because I was I was fuming, bro. I was fuming when I seen that. When I first seen this, I was fuming. I was like, this mother effort, right? But I even seen people responding and agreeing with him. It's like. Obviously, they're not agreeing. Liverpool had won in 30 years. Man United haven't won a title in a decade. City shout at the moment is fair. But then you have Chelsea fans thick riding, saying Arsenal have no Champions League in 100 years. What does that have to do with it? Who is he? One striker bigger than Arsenal. <laughs> like, the, the, the banter. Who the fuck is that guy? 110%. Waste man. I fully agree. Uh, he's wrong. Uh, he's not wrong. What do you mean he's not wrong? This is what pisses me off. Yeah, it's what it is. Who cares? Bro, it's annoying. It's annoying. It actually annoyed the life out of me. And and to, to people who say, you want to know something? Honest truth time. Arsenal have made a lot of mistakes. We have made a lot of mistakes. For 20 years, we've had bad recruitment. We've had bad coaching at times. Even our legend Arsene Wenger was doing bad coaching at times. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, Mikel Arteta has not always been good. Things have been bad. There's been bad recruitment, bad players, bad attitudes, bad dressing rooms, bad uh, bad uh, players that were players that were overhyped, like Pierre Mkhitaryan, Lacazette. Do you remember we once called Hector Bellerin the best right back in the Premier League? He was never the best right back in the Premier League. It was always Kyle Walker, or when it wasn't Kyle Walker, it was somebody else. And Souls. I need you to speak to me. Is there more negatives at this moment in time at Arsenal that, that outweigh the positives? Uh, not really. I mean, obviously the way the season ends is a big negative, but it is there is an element of recency bias there, of course. Like, you know, that's how fans are. We, whatever happens in the moment, some people clinch onto that. But um, look, I'll be honest with you. I'm optimistic going into this transfer window, but the only